kal halalium la yahabo, Bahasham shall yahabo shai, Bahasham kakodash, which is ancient, period Hebrew for all praises to Yahweh, the Heavenly Father's only Hebrew name, in the name of Yahweh Shai, the Son's only Hebrew name, who the word ignorantly calls Jah Jehovah, or Yeshua, and Jesus, sorry. Once a double honors to the apostles and elders of Rathen of Stone and salutation to the sincere Akim, the hopefully elect, 144,000 men, elect, and the one third men, women, and children elected to be saved, all right? Whoever they are scattered scattered across the globe out there. Um this is a lesson um based on um when Yahweh Hashim Yoshayu will reveal different things as prophets and uh, you know this word is going out. This word is going out. Um I don't know if brothers ever come across this article but Spirit led led me to it. While I was looking for um for a particular photo of Yahweh Shai, a depiction of Yahweh Shai, I should say, and um you know Yahweh Hashem Yahushai led me to this article. Let me bring it up here, and um this is from the website ZombieTime.com, and this article was posted since two thousand nine. All right, um, October 25th, Sunday at, at um, 12, 12 hours, 28 minutes a.m. It says, this image is not biblical, extreme preaching. All right, it says, on a, on a recent trip to Berkeley, I encountered this remarkable crew of young street preachers. All right, so... I know these. I know a few of these brothers. I know uh, this brother here with the blue garment is looking, looking to his, to his right. I know the one that I'm um, giving the cameraman a scowl, and I know this one in this uh, red, but I can't recall the others. All right, and it says one held up a large sign that said, referring to the drawing of white Jesus, it should be so called white. This is the devil. This image is not biblical. Jesus is a Negro white man, and we all know how, right? So it goes on to say, though the message is a little confusing, I I took I took it to mean the white Jesus is the devil. If he had asked a damn question, he probably wouldn't have been confusing. But then again, he's probably a heathen. All right, because you know people are just looking for. Also, have reasons and excuses, you know, to do the right thing in this day and age. It says the Victorian era drawings of Jesus, which supposed to be um, Yahweh Shai, as a blue-eyed European, are not biblically accurate. But the real Jesus was black, not white, right? While the street preachers did did have a point about Jesus being overly Europe, Europeanized in art during 19th century and early actually was before that if I'm not mistaken yeah let me see if I can get it up just a quick quick verification uh, where is it Yeah, there's a photo brother did on a contract of um, of the paint, the first painting of our first whitewashing depiction of Yahweh Shai, who they were ignorantly called Jesus, right? Um, so, apart from the flight, 14th, 14th century to the 19th century, all right? I'm just showing the the death and the birth and death of uh, these two Edomites, Leonardo da Vinci and Cesar Borgia. Anyway, back to the article, right? So it wasn't in the 19th century. Well, it shows that he did no research whatsoever and just wanted to post an article to get um, hits. It says, well, the street preachers did have a point about Jehovah Shai. It's like, yeah.
well, Yahusha being overly Europe Europeanized in our June 19th century and early 20th centuries, perhaps they took their point a little too far. The other way, he's asking, how was that? How was that? Anyway, ignorance. Those brothers would, would have clearly broken it down for him if he had asked a question. Or clearly did not, or even if he did, he said nothing. All right. Contemporary, because I know these brothers. This brother, these brothers, um, did a video, a very, a very pop up video that went viral within his, within you know, those who are in the know. They did a Hebrew prayer or a curse. To get de get demons off this woman that was that was, that was acting up so to speak, right? But let me continue this article. It says contemporary scholars almost universe un universe. So see what says contemporary scholars almost universally agree that the historical Jews was not was a Middle Eastern Jew, and likely had brown hair and brown eyes along with what is called an olive complexion, Middle Eastern skin tone. What the fuck is a Middle Eastern skin tone? That goes to show that, yeah, this person is D-Sure, an Edomite, or, you know, they don't know the nationality, but reading this article, whoever typed it, is a D-Sure Edomite. What I found most intriguing is that while the preachers seem to be Christian, with one of them reading aloud from the Bible, they still were okay with calling Jesus a devil because they have no understanding. His name is not Jesus. Alright? His name is Yahweh Shai. And I'm sure that person should know that by now. Alright? Because this, this thing is viral. Alright? This goes to show. I don't know if these brothers ever see it, but, you know, I'll put a link in the description. Probably our uh, brother could get us to the Berkeley. Right? We can probably, probably send it to a few brothers on WhatsApp. Alright? And it shows the tribes. Listed here in the chart. Meanwhile, their next sign listed the 12 tribes of Israel as being various new world nations and ethnic groups. It's not new world nations, dumbass. <sighs> names names change over the time. And, um, it's like we got my laptop to charge. <laughs> Name has been changed over time due to slavery, marrying the family, and the rulers that be. Right? And the rulers that be. Who, uh, according to Job 9 and 24, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. It's not where and who is he. It changes, it changes the face, it changes the faces of the judges thereof. Russell's rough, paraphrasing. It says, ethnic new world nations and ethnic groups, most of them didn't ex even exist in the pre-Columbian times. That is to say, the modern nations listed, such as Uruguay and Haiti, didn't, oh, didn't develop until thousands of years after the tribes of Israel were first listed in the Bible because they were enslaved. And if you read in Daniel, the first chapter, you would see that when they enslave um, people, they would give them their own names, rename them so that they could, um, what's the word I'm looking for, blemish their culture, you know, um, break the slave so that they would submit to them. Because when you want something, you name it, like for example, you know, I name my laptop, I name, my, name, my laptop is Silver, and I call it Sylvia. Same thing applied to slaves. You know, same thing applied to... Um, you know, from our movie Roots. Anyway, enough of the rambling. It says, uh, as I say, the modern nations listed, such as Uruguay and Haiti, didn't, de didn't develop until thousands of years after the tribes, the tribes of um, Israel were first listed in the Bible. The ethnicities such as, as Mexican or Dominican only arose after the European arrival in the New World, right? Bunch of ignorance. And yeah, um, you know, there's some comments. All right, let me just read this last part. And the final sign said, America, America's destruction is damn right. It is. I'm sure you've seen it by now. Along with 
along with a picture of a Soviet-era nuclear-tipped ICBM hurtling across the sky. Ooh, slack, yo. So, what are we to make of all this? Combine the messages. See, Jesus, or at least white Jesus is the devil. Jesus was actually black. The 12 tribes of Israel are actually from the Caribbean, South and Central America. USSR will destroy the United States with nuclear missiles. I'm trying to piece all this together in a cohesive world while I'm not succeeding. Any suggestions? Photo below came out a bit. Yeah, yeah, whatever. There's a bunch of comments. I didn't go through all the comments. Someone, someone did say, someone named Ken did say uh, that they did came from X, Y, and Z, and so forth. And somebody's, re I don't know, somebody responding. Ken Lou Lewis there did an interesting, funny interview with them, wherein one, the Black Beatles claimed Tom Jones and William Shakespeare were actually black. In his documentary, documentary called Black Nationalism. Yeah, and then someone says it is really, it's easy really. They, they like, they like so many others have been led astray by the work of Satan. <laughs> we can see. All right, let's get the scriptures. Slack about that. Uh, this main lesson is about to show is, is to show that you know Yahweh Hashem Yosheh War is going on. This information is still standing there, you know. And to show you how long these brothers been pushing the truth. It says you know gotta get a gotta get him a shout out, you know, Yah Bashim no Shai Barkata, Tamab Kayakulash. Jeremiah chapter four four verse four, howbeit I sent unto you all my servants and prophets, rising early and sending them saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. Right? So what it was saying what they're saying is that this is not a true depiction. If you read Revelation chapter one, verse thirteen, go down, it will give you the true depiction of Yahweh Shai. He has burnished brass skin, woolly hair. I like his father, you know, and so forth. This is not the patient's fault, you know. And this is the thing that you should not worship. This is the thing that you should not agree upon by those who, who set it up, which is the so-called white race. He saw the red Hebrew it. The red Hebrew Edomites, right? So you've seen that you all call black Hebrew I don't know, Israelites. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preaching all of the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. And and this is how the gospel is going to be preached. People are going to do different articles, and people are going to get curious and start looking at these things, and then they'll have no excuse. Look at how many comments there is. Look at how many, look how many comments. Incognito, you know, Tobert McGee. Maybe Spirit Leader, I'll probably read a few, read it out or whatever. I don't know. Um, this is uh, Matthew chapter 10. So they were preaching the gospel, right? This is what the brothers were doing. They were preaching the gospel, and then shall the end come. That's what we're waiting for. Uh, Matthew chapter 10, verse 5 to 7, it says, These 12 Yahweh Shai sent forth. These twelve Yahweh I sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not. <laughs> you know, that was talking about back then, but it applies today. Because uh, the, the apostles and the disciples are, are back here again today, preaching preaching the word, because they did not preach to all the world. They, pre they preached to um, the, the Roman Empire. Um southern um, parts of Africa and Asia and so forth but they did not reach the western part of the world or they didn't reach certain parts of the world all right you can look that up it says um verse 6 but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel and that's why the brothers have up the sign because that's who this message is for it's not for the whole world and this is Yahweh I talking or as that fool refers to him as Jesus and as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. But go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Right? This is Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 19. Behold, at that time I will do unto all that afflict thee. 
and that's what they that's what they do and they're afflicting us in every way verbally mentally emotionally physically you know well real physical affliction is just coming soon now bashing and shari bashing kakodash rawataza you know these brothers and myself endure you know the persecution it says i will save i will save her slack you Behold, at that time I will do unto all that afflict thee, Talmud Israel, the elect of Israel, and I will save her that he let, that halted, and gather her that was driven out. All right, so we were driven out from our land. That's why we preaching. So the Albash make sure I could deliver us again. And I will get them praise and fame in every land where they have, where they have been put to shame, and that's what we get it. Get them praise and fame. Praise from each other, or the sincere brothers, to do, to continue in, in, in the works and so forth. And the fame as in, you know, getting this word out. Now, not, not for that, that, that false fame that these celebrities saying, but we're doing it in righteousness, you know. And um, that's pretty much it. Um, straight to the point. With that, I pray that this lesson will be fine. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Kakwadash, of honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and salutation to the sincere Akiam, Akwathiam, as holding on to the, to the faith and grace that Yahweh Bahasham has given us. Shalom, Prakata, until another time.